Well, as you guys know, honeydew lists never end. They continue to go on and on. And that's kind of why we're doing this video. It's actually something I kind of want to do too. So I'm not going to blame it all on the wifey. But our shower head that we have there has been replaced from the original one. This one has a stop stop function like the one that's on there now, but the one that came in the RV did not. And if you live in an RV, you will know very quickly that you have to take military showers or you better have a stop because that water will get cold within about five to 10 minutes, depending on how big your water heater is. So today we're gonna do an install. This will make my wife happy. And I'm sure after this, I should be at least good for another week or two. I would like a new backsplash too. She would like a new backsplash as she said. So. Although, you know what, I'll be honest, we need a new backsplash because we have that pick and stick stuff. Peel and stick. Pick and, peel and stick, excuse me. Peel and stick, it peels right off but the it wall. it unstuck. It unstuck, yeah, it's, it's not that nice. We, it was the first time doing it and I actually eyeballed the cuts too, so it looks pretty bad. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into the video and I'll show you guys how to install this shower head. So here it is, so it's black. Like we've pretty much replaced everything in this house. If you don't know, we did pretty much remodel, I guess you could say. We put new blinds up, we painted. I'll link that video somewhere in this video for you if you wanna go check it out. But yeah, this is new and we've already replaced pretty much everything in here in terms of like the faucets, I would say. Painted the doors and in the bathroom, that was probably the biggest rental that we did cause we took down some cabinets in there, all that stuff. But this will pretty much complete it because I bought one around the time we did all that. I just did it really quickly because I just wanted something different. So we're gonna put something nicer up. And supposedly this has really good pressure. You can see those uh, those little nozzles there. I'm hoping that they'll give that, that needle feel when you uh, turn the water on. They do give you some directions. Now mine does not have this type of head. So this, oof, that might be a problem. Hopefully it's not. And they give you a black hose, which looks really nice. So I don't think I can use this. So we might have to do something different or I may have to return this, darn. Now they do give some plumber's tape, but a lot of people online say it's junk. So I just grabbed some from the basement area and we're gonna go ahead and see how we're gonna make this work because like I said, I don't have a place to put this because this is supposed to connect to like the original head and I don't have this let me show you what I'm talking about so as I mentioned we've replaced pretty much everything in our house this is the original head I would show you the water pressure but it's not even worth it you can take my word for it it's pretty bad now you can kind of see too that they're kind of discolored to some of the nozzles on this thing and like I said it's just leaking out of the back of it like out of the back of here. It's not a good uh, shower head. I will not buy this again, but you don't really need tools for this. You don't want to over tighten this stuff. This is just plastic. Uh, let me see, I could probably untighten this with my hand. Maybe if I have both my hands, but what I was talking about earlier was I don't have a shower head that sticks out of the wall. So I have no use for this. So hopefully, hopefully my goal is that I can maybe get this to stay up here actually yeah this oof, this may not work guys i'm just now seeing this you see how that just kind of sits up there yeah hopefully this hose has enough of a head or enough of a neck i should say for at least sit up there um but give me one second i'm going to see if i can make this work somehow Alrighty, so we are in business. So there it is. 
it sits up there perfectly. It's actually a little bit higher, which is good for me. And yeah, sits up there perfectly. Perfect. So I can still use this. I don't have to return it. So what I gotta do now is I have to uninstall this. Oh yeah, see, look. That's all you have to do. Boom. And so I gotta go the other way. I gotta go the other way. So I'll just take that out. I'm gonna put some plumber's tape on this. I didn't put any plumber's tape on this last time I did this. Eesh, that's not a good idea. But yeah, I have to put some plumber's tape on that. I gotta dry it up. And I'm gonna hold on to this little washer too. These are always useful. Cause I didn't see that this one came with one. Oh, and there is one. So there is a washer in here. So you don't have to reuse that one. So one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, this is the biggest tip of this video. Do not throw this away. Whatever you do, trust me when I say this. If anything were to happen to your new shower head, or let's just say that it got damaged or something like this broke off or something, I don't know, whatever. If for any reason you throw this away, you have no shower. So I always recommend, because I think the one that we have for the original RV is in the basement area. So I can throw that one away and then I can just put this one down there or I can just keep one or the other, I don't care. But do not throw one of these away because if you have any issues, at least you can still shower and at least you can still stop the water pressure for your shower too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of here. I'm probably gonna do some research and see if I can maybe update all this stuff too, like this um, holder and then this piece here. And I might even look into upgrading this just to one uh, connection for the water so that way I don't have to turn on two nozzles. It might be a little bit easier. So let me go ahead and take this out. And then at this point, we can go ahead and install this one. And there she is in all of its glory. Now it matches this. We have golds in here, black. And even that, see that, it's gold too. I spray painted this. And we did do all of our handles in go too. But yeah, check this out. This looks so much better. And here's the test. So I'm gonna turn the, oh, gotta take this out of here. We gotta turn this on. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh yes. That's way better. That, oh, wow, that's the way better. Now, I don't know what setting, there's three settings on this, but let me show you the biggest thing here. See that? So you do have some that stop and you have some that trickle. You do not want the trickle because if you're using your water pump, it's gonna keep doing that zzz, zzz sound. So get one that does a complete stop. Now, if you're at your house, you can obviously get the trickle because you're not worried about conserving water or you know filling up your gray tank if you're not able to dump wherever you are. So this is why I bought this one. And yeah, it's so much easier to turn the water on and off compared to this one too, because it's hard to push this thing up and down. So yeah, this is a huge upgrade. My wife's gonna love me because yeah, this is gonna be a huge update from what we just had. Looks good and the water pressure is amazing. So I'll put this shower head um, in this video for you guys so you know which one to buy. It's not that expensive, I think it was like 36 bucks. It is plastic, so if you're looking for something a little bit more like uh, elegant, I guess. I mean, it doesn't feel bad, but it's definitely like plastic. Now this piece here is not plastic, and this piece here is not plastic, which is good because on this one, this is all plastic. Like this is plastic, and so is this piece on the end of the uh, hose plastic. So if this breaks, yeah, you can't you can't use it anymore. So I hope that was helpful, guys. This is a great shower head. I've never had that much water pressure at all. And this is a good one to purchase if you do live full time or if you just wanna have great showers in your RV. Alrighty, so it's been a month since I upgraded our shower head and I decided to go ahead and update everything else. So I updated the holders and I did a one handle faucet. 
this was probably my most favorite thing because now we don't have to jumble with you know adjusting water um, temperature we can just do it off of just this one handle I will say though the shower head obviously this was easy these two pieces were easy too but this little guy down here this was a challenge and it's not that there's extra steps that you have to do or cutting you know hoses things like that they just don't give you a lot of room back here to work so it I didn't get it on camera and if I do have any footage of it I will put in this video but I don't think I got any footage I just I got it and just put it in really quickly so all in all really happy with how this turned out um, I'm gonna let my wife give her opinion on what she thinks about the shower head now I did use this on our water pump and the water pressure did not change so it still went where you see back there like, I mean the water pressure is really good um, they have this is one function right there and then they have just that one so the water the water pressure is really good so I strongly recommend if you are in the market this looks great um, as I mentioned earlier in the video we upgraded a lot of our stuff in here so this kind of just flows with everything else but let's check in with my wife really quickly so what do you think babe shower head you, you think it was a good upgrade I love it love it was it better than the other one yes awesome yeah let's go ahead and go online let's go ahead and wrap this video up I want to show you how much all this stuff costs where I got it from on Amazon and if you are interested I'll give you guys a link for it starting off some of the products that we purchased this is the handheld shower head this is the brand that I got it from I mean there's a few other ones that are rebranded with different names but it's pretty much the same exact shower head this was $33.99 and overall I mean it has pretty good ratings about four and a half stars and it has three settings it had the on and off as I mentioned in the video and it's like a matte black color the next thing is going to be the Empire faucet this was probably one of my most favorite upgrades because it really did take away two levers it just went down to a single one has the matte black appearance too and the vacuum breaker uh, all that really is I'll just show it to you down here it just says that uh, vacuum breaker makes it easier to connect your personal shower hose so it's not really much of anything it's just a selling point uh, for this but this was $34.48 and I believe that we got free shipping on this just like we got on a shower head I think it was maybe like a dollar cheaper at the time that we purchased it but it's 12 percent off of 39 dollars and ten cents now these next two items are under the same brand called Dur faucet and this is a name you have seen in the RV industry I've, I've heard this name before I kind of wish that they did do a package deal with these for 15 bucks but this is the handheld shower wand for 1395 they do have other colors uh, this color here is a really cool color it's a brush satin nickel then they have chrome and of course as you guys know we got a matte black color this is a shower hose guide ring for $12.95 and again you have different colors for this too but overall I spent $95.37 based off the prices that I see online today like I said I got this stuff like a month ago so I might have maybe saved maybe a couple bucks from what I see prices are today but all in all I'm really happy with this uh, if, if I do run into any issues with the faucet or the shower head i'll be more than happy to do a follow-up video with this but let me know your thoughts down below or let me know what you guys use and let's go ahead and end off the video but hey guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful be sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon